Hello, everybody. Today I'm here with some more Disney Mirrorverse. Oh, I'm so nervous. Um, it's time to try to get Elsa. Uh, if we don't get her, I guess this isn't going to be a video. I don't know. Um, I guess I'll just have to explain it in the future, but I, I really hope that I can get Elsa. Okay, let's see. That's not her. Great. And two stars. Wow, just want to rub it in, don't you? Okay. I have, I think, like, five tries, but I don't, I guess if I'm going for it, I should just go for it, right? Oh. Another two-star? Great. I have three more tries after this. Oh, my God. Yes! 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 <laughs> Thank you so much. What is it? Only two. I don't know. Shut up. Oh. <sighs> Thank you, Elsa. I was so, so worried. Okay. So we've gotten Elsa. That's just a huge relief. Okay, so let's see if we can level her up. We are missing a lot still, but um, Elsa is one that we've been missing for a while, and it's great to have finally gotten her. So I hope we can rank her up at least twice. I don't know. That's asking too much. I don't have a lot of... I should definitely try to get more of those diamonds to rank up her. Or any character, I guess. Yeah, so I can't... Wait, what? Oh, she... Oh, my God. That's so stupid. I hate that they changed that. Okay, so... I can't do a lot for her because I didn't get her to three stars. Which is just pretty annoying. But we're just going to equip the basic ones on here. And I've got plenty of these books, so I can do that as much as I want. But I don't have a lot of the better books, so... I'll have to keep that in mind. Yeah. So I only have five of those. Let's do each of these once and then call it good, I guess. And then we can try to level up another one too. Um, I don't really know what's good, and I can't equip it anyways. I don't want to do too much more, because I can't really do anything with it. So confirm. And then I also just want to look at her, because it's been a while since we've actually taken a look at her. Her hairstyle is pretty cool, I think, and she's got like a kind of a drapery of some sorts. Um, and she's barefooted, because of course. And I think that's pretty much all we can do with her. Unfortunately, she's going to be super low. She's better than Jack, though, and I showcased him just fine, so... Um, let's just hope for the best, I guess. So what uh, what should we do? We might just go into the story, um, but I might look... Is there any events that we haven't done? I think it's just the Tiana one. Yeah. So... Looks like uh, just finishing up Chapter 4, maybe? And then maybe moving through Chapter 5 a little bit, too. Um, so let's take out Maleficent and bring in Belle as, as well. Put her over here, though. What? Oh. And then all the way down here, you've got her. Okay, so this is exciting. Um, it's been a little bit, I feel like, since we've gotten a new character. Um, and Elsa is only available during this winter thing, it said, so that's why I wanted to get her. And which means I will not be going for Stitch or Tiana at this time, but I think they're going to be added to the regular Crystal Pool after the next update, or maybe the update after that. Um, so that'll be exciting as well, because we'll, then we'll have two other characters to showcase too. So I don't really know anything about Elsa. She's a ranged character, so we don't really need to be up close and personal. So she's got a few different things just, just by tapping. You can see it makes like the ice barrier of sorts. And there's also like a ball and like a spinning one. <laughs> I, I don't know what they're called, but... And then her charge... Huh. So she holds it up and then goes BAM. And it's kind of like a, a sharp crystal. And then she does this. Alright, and it looks like it... Well, I thought it might have frozen the character in place, but it doesn't appear so. Uh, but it did look like it made that little... <coughs> like indent on the ground or something for a while. 
I'm not entirely sure what that was all about, but... Um, I don't think we have any other characters that like have any freezing abilities, so I'd imagine, um, you know, for now this is the one that we're going to get. Um, Frozone is probably pretty likely at some point too, which would be another great um, ice-like using character. There's that animation outside of its uh, other thing. Let's do the charge again, because uh, we only saw that for a little bit. Alright. So yeah, just a... Uh, I feel like a pretty basic um, range character. Outside of that... Um, that move where it kind of like spikes up behind the enemy. Still not entirely sure what is happening with that. It also looks like Elsa had like a white snowflake emblem underneath her. Alright, there's her, her personality showing through in her animations there. Can't level her up any more than we have her, unfortunately. Yeah, the, the star glitch is still going strong, that's great. That's the Sultan's palace up ahead. Jafar will be there. Lying in wait for us, I'll wager. I have bested Jafar before, I can do it again. Yes, but he commands the fractured you created. Do I go about recounting your missteps? Then be silent. Alright, so next one here. I didn't really use my healing ability at all last time, and she did pretty good, so I'm not too worried. Um, I know people have been wanting to see Elsa for a while, and even if you haven't, I feel like, you know, it's another character that I hadn't unlocked yet that is at the very least somewhat interesting to see. And I know that Stitch and Tiana are a bit more interesting right now, but again, if this is only going to be available in the quote-unquote like winter event, I don't know if the winter event is going to be showing up during the like the normal, um, like in other seasons other than winter, you know? So, I felt like, if anything, this is an important one to do. The same thing kind of with Jack Skellington. Like, I didn't know if he was going to be showing up outside of a Halloween event or anything. Like, can that event show up outside of Halloween? I do not know. But I feel like with Mickey and Hades, even though that wasn't really the reason why I didn't do it, I think it works out good that I didn't pull for them at all. Uh, because I feel like their events could show up at any time, right? I didn't feel like it was... Because uh, they weren't really tied to um, like a, a thing around the year that only happens once per year. It's kind of just their own thing. Uh, but they, it said it was exclusive to their event too. So I don't know. Um, right now I, I still believe that the way that they're doing uh, unlocking characters is somewhat flawed. Um, especially since we're just in like the, the beta phase right now. And they're kind of just forcing you to pay money if you want all the characters, which is kind of uh, messed up in my opinion. Um, maybe that's something you do when it goes a bit like more worldwide. Um, which is also scummy in and of itself. Um, but for now, it should be us testing the game and we can't even see everything there is to see. Ah, here come the Guardians with their fresh recruit Maleficent. I think it's time they met my new creation. For what is the Sultan's Palace without a genie? So is Genie going to be the fight, or...? I don't like fighting Genie. Um, but yeah, the it seems like, like I said, Stitch and Tiana are going to be in the regular Crystals again. Which I actually do think is an okay way of doing it. Um, when they first release, if you have to pay them to get them early, you know, that's not so bad. As long as they're going to be openly available after that. Um, but with characters like Elsa, um, that isn't an option. You're going to have to pay. Are you going to have to use your orbs? You're going to have to pay money. And you're going to either have to just pay for her outright, or you're going to have to pay money for orbs so that you can unlock her. Um, which is just not, not great. Um, but yeah, uh, that's why they decided to do it, I guess. I don't really care for that, but um, I hope maybe that'll change when it releases more openly. But I don't really see how it would, because like I said, it makes more sense to do that once it is more widely available, not in the beta phase when we're just kind of testing everything out. I can't even play as some of the characters because uh, like 
Like, I can't test them out because I can't unlock them. So, I think that's just kind of a flawed way to do a, a, a beta of sorts. You know, a soft launch. Um, not allowing your characters to actually use all the characters. Sorry, not allowing your players to actually use all the characters in the game. Uh, it just doesn't really make a lot of sense. Um, but, whatever, I guess. I, I'm, I'm still happy that I got Elsa. There's definitely a chance. And there's a universe out there somewhere where I, I didn't get her. I spent all of my orbs and I just didn't get her. Um, and I'm happy I only took three tries as well, so I can still save some of my orbs. Um, of course, I would have loved it if it happened on the first one, but uh, that is yet to be seen in any of these kinds of orb spending sprees. Um, but I probably will try to wait until I have a good amount of orbs again to do an opening like that, which means if Mickey and Hades come back anytime soon, I probably won't be able to uh, do that. But or like any other characters that are released in that way, which I assume will continue to happen. Um, but I also hope they continue to do characters like Stitch and Tiana. Although I keep using that as an example, and I don't actually know if that's true. Uh, for all I know, it's not true. Um, but I, I do hope that ends up being the case. Because uh, I kind of missed that. It's been a little while, I feel like, since I've been able to do that. Um... But it's always just nice to have a new character, I guess. I'm getting a good amount of orbs just from playing through these levels, so I guess as I continue to go through the story, I'll continue to get orbs and stuff. So, nice palace. It would be a pity if someone looted it. Look, it's Jafar and a fractured genie. Do you like it? I made it from your star crystals, Maleficent. I never had a chance to express my gratitude, so consider this my thank you. You will not be thanking me when I'm done with you, Jafar. Not so fast, Jafar. We're going to take you out. This is taking longer than I was expecting, to be fair. I'm glad I didn't do this at the end of the uh, last video. Um, so I don't know. I might not have a lot of time to do anything else after this. Elsa might die in this one, honestly. Maybe I should be playing a little bit more smartly. Smart? I don't think that's a word. Playing it a bit more safe. That's a better way of saying it. Um, we can continue to use the healing then, just to make sure. And then I'll see use this one. So, it looks like it casts Frostbite on the character, which I don't know. It might just be like a, a poison kind of thing. It was kind of hard to see uh, what it was doing, but it kind of sounds like it would just continue to do um, damage over time, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, I guess I should look at, like, a... A tier list for Elsa because I don't know where she would place. Um, I haven't looked at it in a while actually and I'm sure things have changed around a bit. I feel like with this game it's a little bit more manageable to tell who's really good and who's not because there aren't a lot of characters in the game at the moment. Yeah so it looks like if Genie wasn't in the, uh, like invincible at this point that he would have been taking damage over time with that frostbite which was what I was expecting. Alright, so I think I need to get Elsa out of here. I didn't even mean to do that. Kinda wanna be attacking Genie actually. Oh jeez. Okay, they want me dead. This isn't good. I can go get some armor and get healed at the same time. Oh no. I'd prefer to have done that on Genie, but okay. Alright, let's see if I can do this here. She doesn't have a lot of health, so she does heal pretty well when I get to use Belle's thing. Let's do this on Genie. No, no, no. Oh, man. I'm not going to get three stars now. They kept just coming for me when I was just standing there. Alright, so 
so once I was able to actually use, maybe, I, I, I'm guessing she would have died if I would have switched, but if I would have used another character, I could have killed them a lot faster. Um, not a great showing, I guess. I didn't get three stars, which is sad, which means I should probably go back into that at some point. We defeated the Fracture Genie, but Jafar got away. I don't see the Fracture Mirror anywhere. Hold on, I'm getting a call. So embarrassing. Yellow, this is silly. They're what? We'll be right there. That was my foreman at the scare floor. They're fractured everywhere. This means that the fractured mirror is in someone else's possession. Scare floor, here we come. So yeah, that's when you find out when Oogie Boogie has it now. And uh, before, Mike wasn't in it when this chapter existed, but uh, now he is. So I guess it makes a bit more sense that his foreman actually called him. Oh, and we unlocked hard mode. Um, so I can always do that in some videos too. Uh, but yeah, we'll probably move on to the next one in the next video. Um, I feel like I should maybe do like one more thing, but I, I, I don't really know what to do. I suppose we could just three-star this real quick. I don't think it would be... It would take too long. I don't know if we need healing even. Let's just try it like this. Um... My thoughts on El like I said, I, I would like to see tier list because it's kind of hard to tell. I only have her at two stars at the moment, and I didn't, I wasn't excited necessarily by any of her moves. Uh, but again, if I saw her in a more leveled up phase, I can maybe compare it to some of the other characters and how much damage they're able to do, especially like range characters. Because I think at least at a time, Maleficent was the best one. I think maybe she might be lower on the tier list now, uh, if I remember correctly. But I'm, I'm, I'm not completely sure anymore. I thought Frank was at the top of it at a time, but I, that could have changed too. Or I, I could just be wrong about that, but I, I feel like I remember that because I was like surprised that Frank was so high on there, but um, I, I just don't remember. But I, I'd be, I think I might try to look at that at the end of the, or when I'm done with this video. And then hopefully I will, you know, keep that information in mind so I can talk about it in my next video. But. Um, I'm very pleased that I was able to unlock Elsa. I get so worried about these kinds of things. Because <coughs> uh, I just straight up was not going to be making a video then today if I didn't get her. So I'm happy that it worked out. I guess we should probably be trying to kill Genie. Oh, he's indestructible now. So we can kill Mini, I guess. Uh, so he's going to be dead any second here. There we go. So that was that. Um, that didn't take too long. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm just going to wrap it up. Uh, we, I guess you could look... I don't think I ever looked at Elsa's bio, and some people might be interested in that. I, I already saw that. So yeah, we got three stars and everything, which is good. I can claim my stuff here. I didn't get any orbs or anything for that. That's kind of annoying, actually. Um, so... Just one final look at Elsa here. Looking at her bio. She's only got two traits, which is interesting. I feel like they definitely could have applied more to her, but maybe if they add more ice characters, like I said, they could add an ice trait to her or something. But um, Thank you guys for watching. I hope you are as relieved as I am that I was able to get Elsa and showcase her today. Um, hopefully Tiana and Stitch will be widely available soon. Um, but I, I don't know if I'll be any, recording any more videos on the game until the next update. Um, I, I'm just not sure. Um, but we'll see. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.